<laughs> I want you all for myself, senpai. I don't want anyone to come between us. Come on out, senpai. Come out, come out, wherever you are, senpai. Come on out, senpai. Come on out, senpai. Don't hide from me. Don't hide from me. <laughs> if I can't have you, no one can. I'm sorry. I can't believe you overslept again. It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. I'm not your personal alarm clock, you know. You can't rely on me to wake you up every day. I'm sorry. If it bothers you so much, maybe we should stop walking to school together. No, that, that's not what I... Just forget it, okay? Anyway... I want you to meet me on the school rooftop at lunchtime. Got it? Huh? Why? Stop being so difficult! Just be there, alright? And don't keep me waiting! Okay, okay. I'll be there. Good! H here! What's this? It's a bento, stupid! You made me lunch? Don't get the wrong idea! I didn't make it for you! I just... made too much food this morning. So you can have the extras! Oh, cool! Thanks a lot! Just shut up and eat it! Uh, what did you put in this? Huh? What do you mean? My stomach... really hurts all of a sudden. Hey! You shouldn't insult a girl's cooking, you dummy! I'm sorry. I can't finish it! I have to go! Huh? Senpai! Wait! Oh no... What did I do wrong? Jeez, you're hopeless! <laughs> Don't look at me like that, okay? Baka! Bug! Baka! 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 Hey. Do I know you? I saw you stalking an upperclassman today. I'm sorry, there must be some misunderstanding. There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm trying to help you. Want some information about the girl he was with? I'm listening. Her name is Osana Najimi. She has a crush on him. She's planning to confess to him next Friday, underneath the cherry tree behind the school. There's a myth that if you confess your love to someone underneath that tree, the person you confess to can't refuse. Why are you telling me this? I would be happy if something bad happened to Osana-chan. I think you might be the right person to give her what she deserves. Who are you? Have you ever heard of Info-chan? 
an urban legend about a girl who hacks people and sells their dirty secrets to the highest bidder. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I sell a lot more than just blackmail. Are you trying to tell me that you're Invojon? Do you really expect me to believe that? I've installed an app on your phone. Take a look. How did you do that? That's not something you need to be concerned with. If you do a few small favors for me, I can offer a wide variety of services that should help you eliminate Osanachan. Everything you need to know is in that app. And what if I don't want anything to do with you? If you're not interested in my services, I won't take it personally. Feel free to ignore me, but don't ignore Osanachan. You have one week until she confesses to your precious senpai. Make her suffer. Uh-oh. I should take this call in private. Hello? Ugh, I told you to stop calling me, you creep! How many times do I have to say it? I'm not interested! If you don't stop bothering me, I'm gonna call the cops and... Wait, what? Are you serious? Okay, okay, fine. I won't call the police. Look, this is a bad time for me. We'll talk about this later. Just don't do anything rash, okay? Why did something like this have to happen? Osana, is everything okay? Well, no. But I'm not sure if I should say anything yet. I need some time to think. I might be ready to talk about it when classes are done for the day. Somewhere private. Maybe a rooftop? Behind the air vents? Okay. I'll wait until you're ready to talk. Would you like to take a stroll around the school to take your mind off of it? You still haven't joined a club yet. Maybe we can check out the club rooms. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds nice. Sure. Let's do it. What do you think of this club? Everyone in this club seems really nice. And I've always wanted to get better at cooking. Right now, it's kind of my top choice. But I think I should check out the other clubs before I decide. I gotta join the drama club. Because as soon as I start ending motherfucking life foos, Senpai's bitch ass gonna be like, Oh my god, you're a monster! Have any thoughts about this club? Uh, I don't know. The people in this club are kind of... Well, I don't want to sound rude, but they're just not my crowd. What do you think of this club? Ugh. This place gives me the creeps. I'm not even sure why the school allows this club to exist. Next club, please. Have any thoughts about this club? Seriously? Video games? <laughs> really? Who still plays video games after middle school? Like, grow up already! What's your opinion on this club? I guess I don't really have a strong opinion about it either way. I mean, I guess I'd consider it, but it wouldn't really be my first choice, you know? Interested in joining the club? All we ask is that you show up at least once a week. Yes. Fantastic! You are now an official member of the Martial Arts Club. I'm looking forward to teaching you everything I know. How about this club? Ooh, this club is so cool! Everyone here is so talented. But I can't play any instruments, so I wouldn't really fit in. I think I'd better look for a different club. Would this club suit you? Hmm. Well, it could be fun, but I've never really thought of myself as an artist. I'm sure it's a nice club and all, but I think another club would be a better fit for me. Can you see yourself in this club? Oh, I've heard about these guys. Their club is supposed to be about photography, but they spend all their time just goofing around. No, I'd want to be in a club that takes itself seriously. Do you think you'd enjoy this club? What's with this place anyway? It wasn't here last year. The doors are always locked. But it sounds like there's someone inside. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Let's go. 
Good luck. <laughs> Are you interested in this club? <sighs> oh, man. The only place that might scare me more than the occult club. I'm genuinely worried that one of their crazy experiments is going to blow up the school one day. Do you want to join this club? You know, I actually think this club looks really fun. But it, it would be really awkward to be the only girl in the club. I guess I'll pass. What do you make of this club? You're... joking. Right? I'm going to assume that was a joke. Please, let's get out of here. I don't feel safe around them. Oh, this is another one of my top choices. Everyone here is so friendly, and I've always wanted to try gardening. I'll give it some thought. Well, I'm not ready to decide which club I want to join, but I feel way better after taking a walk with you. Thank you so much for being there for me. It was my pleasure. I'm really glad to hear that you feel better. Come on, let's go. Yes. My students tell me that they appreciate my lessons, but I feel like I still have a long way to go before I can consider myself a good teacher. I'm nowhere near as skilled as my former mentor. She quit martial arts, but she still attends the school. I want to ask her to come back to the club for just one last lesson, so I can study her teaching techniques. But there's just one problem. I sometimes wonder if I may have contributed to the reason why she quit martial arts. I'm not sure whether or not it would be awkward for me to approach her and ask her to visit the club again. I understand. Really? You'd be willing to speak to her on my behalf. I'd appreciate that a lot. Oh, I would be more than happy to visit the martial arts club. It'll be so nice to see Budo again. I'll head there right away. I'm sure Osana will be fine by herself for a little while, right? Hello? Is that blood? What happened to you? Do you have a problem with that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> wow, she's a lot more comfortable here than I expected. It was wrong of me to assume that things would be awkward between us. Petty grudges are far beneath her. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just thinking out loud. I don't actually want to trouble anyone with my problems. You're welcome. Osana, where did she go? What happened to you? My friend, Osana. Few moments later. For being friend ever! Okay.
What are you doing? Stop! Sana. <sighs> um, excuse me. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you seem quite sad about something. Would you like to talk about it? Huh? Um, have we met before? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Amai Odiaka. We go to the same school. I'm sorry if it's strange that I approached you so suddenly. <laughs> when I see a sad face, I can't help but try to make things better. So, what's wrong? My childhood friend Osana. She's gone missing. It's like she disappeared without a trace. Nobody has a clue where she might be. I'm so worried I'll never see her again. Uh, oh. I... I'm so sorry to hear about that. I, I... I can't imagine what that must be like. Actually, I'm heading to my parents' bakery right now. Would you like to come with me? It'll take your mind off of things for a while. Oh. No, it's okay. I wouldn't want to be a bother. It wouldn't be a bother at all. If I just leave you here, I'll worry about you. <laughs> well, I guess it would be better than moping around. Okay. Sure. I'll come with you. Then let's get going.
Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for setting aside the time to take this call. I know that you're a busy man. No, no, there haven't been any complications. I just wanted to confirm that I've been following your instructions properly. I'm glad to hear it. Are you satisfied with how events are unfolding? Ah, oh, that's good to hear, sir. I must confess, I'm still worried about the students. Acceptable casualties? Necessary sacrifices? The price of progress? I see, sir. I wish I could view it from your perspective, but the thought of bloodshed in my school still makes me quite uncomfortable. No, no, of course not, sir. I'll, I'll continue doing precisely as you've asked. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'll keep you informed of any noteworthy developments. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Psycho. <laughs> I found your note. What do you want to say? I'm sorry to call you here like this. But... I can't stay silent any longer. I know who's responsible for what you've been going through. Please, take a look at this photograph. This is the person who spread rumors about you and ruined your reputation. I'm afraid that they aren't going to stop until they've destroyed your life. So... Everything that's happened to me is because of this person? Thank you for telling me. I need some time to think about this. G goodbye. I'm useless. I'm worthless. I'm nothing. Nothing matters. I should die. Kill. 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 No words can express the sense of loss we feel.
the next day. Our newest club member doesn't seem to realize how things work around here. She actually thinks she can steal my hairstyle. It doesn't matter if she had this hairstyle before me. Now that I'm using it, it's officially mine. There's only enough room for one set of purple drills in this school. I'm not going to discuss this with her directly. Such matters are beneath me. Make yourself useful and go have a word with her. Tell her that she needs to do something original with her hair. Or else. The next day. turns down a challenge. Come on, let's get started right away.
Oh my! Your face is turning red. Do you have a fever? Come see me anytime. I'm always happy to take care of you. I can teach you all sorts of things. <laughs> Would you like me to be your private tutor? <laughs> That's a relief! I'm sorry. Budo, please meet me at my house tomorrow. I have something important to tell you. Okay. Hey, Yamada! I have to ask you something. Huh? Um, sure. What is it? Do you do anything other than sit there and read? Well, I... Look, I won't dance around the issue, so I'll get to the point. Why don't you join the martial arts club? What? Why? Because it's beneficial! You'll learn self-defense, work out, and- Sorry, Matsuda, but I have to say no. Why? What is it with you and turning down every club that approaches you? Well, I- You know what? I have a better idea. Ten seconds later- Forget about making out with Senpai. You can't even get too close to him without the screen turning pink and her panties getting all in a twist because she's so in love with him. And if you get too close to his mouth, he is gonna freak out and say things like that. God, why are we in love with this fuckboy? Look at her. She's definitely not ugly. She can get any guy she wants. She can get this guy. She can get that guy. She can definitely get this guy. She can get this karate master fuck. She can get anybody she wants, but she loves this guy. I don't know why. He has an ugly ass bowl haircut, and he doesn't even look that good. And he's always dissing her anyway like this. This girl is kind of weird. This girl is kind of weird. Man, your face is kind of weird. <sighs> oh, go! No! Close it, close it, close it, close it! Get back! Ah!
My earliest memories. I remember hospitals, doctors, examinations. I was broken. The doctors were trying to fix me. My parents tried to explain what was wrong with me. They tried to explain what made me different from other people. I didn't understand. I heard the doctors admit they couldn't fix me. They said I would never be a normal person or live a normal life. As I grew older, I came to understand what was wrong with me. I saw other children become happy, sad, angry, but I never felt these things. I only felt empty, hollow, incomplete. My father desperately wanted to help me, but my mother, she was nothing like my father. She wasn't worried about me at all. She said that she was exactly like me when she was a child. She told me that one day I would meet someone special. She told me that I would meet someone who would make me feel complete. My father did not want to listen to my mother's words. He wanted a normal child more than anything in the world. He tried everything to make me happy. But nothing worked. I never felt happy. But I did feel pity. I felt pity for this sad man. I did not want my father to worry anymore. And so, I began to act like the other children. I pretended to be normal. My father was happy. We finally became a normal family. But I think he knew, deep down in his heart, that I was only pretending. At school, the other children mistreated me. They bullied me because I was strange to them. It was... inconvenient. I realized that if I wanted to be treated properly, I would have to act like the other children. I started pretending to be normal, and the bullying stopped. I learned that everything was easier if I forced myself to act like a normal person. Eventually, I was pretending to be normal almost every hour of every day. I pretended to be friends with people. I pretended to have hobbies. I pretended to care when tragedy struck. But it was all fake. I felt nothing. The only thing I felt was emptiness. As I grew older, I became resentful of my condition. I wanted to experience life like other people. I wanted to feel joy. I wanted to feel sorrow. I tried doing anything that might cause me to feel something. Guilt, shame, regret. I wanted to feel something. Anything. But nothing worked. No matter what I did, 
no matter how extreme, I could not feel anything. My mother's advice was always the same. One day, you will meet someone special. One day, someone will make you feel complete. I thought about these words all the time. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. The only reason for me to live. Meeting the person who would save me. Fix me. Complete me. Then, one day, I found him. I must not lose him. I must protect him. I must make him mine. I must not let anyone take him. I need him. He is everything. He is worth any sacrifice. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. Girls like you really get on my nerves. Get lost. I don't have time for this. You have absolutely no idea who I am or what I am capable of doing. Let me out of here now before you get hurt. Who the hell do you think you are? Get out of here before I break your neck. Absolutely amazing! I'm so happy to be here! I promise I'll make you proud, okay? Thank you for believing in me! at this school. I don't. You are a vulgar creature that is only allowed to exist because you serve a purpose. If it was my decision, 
then every last one of you would be exterminated. Have fun while you can. If you and I ever cross paths, you're going to have a bad time. I've heard rumors about a dangerous person causing trouble at this school. As student council president, it is my duty to find this person and put a stop to them. Senpai, don't be alarmed. I believe that someone may be stalking you. Don't worry, I won't let them harm you. You'll be safe with me, I promise. Senpai! I heard the student council president will reveal identity of the danger person at school tomorrow. Really? I can wait to find out soon. Excellent. Good job. My top priority is to put a stop to any- Oh no, this can't be real! No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. Now Senpai could never love me. I'm sorry, but I'm not a gay. Oh God, this can't be happening. Pardon me, but are you feeling okay? Are you... okay? There is something very wrong with you. <laughs> what did I just say? I'm sorry. Wasting my time, I have to go make sure Senpai's safe. I told you, asshole, he's mine. You won't take him from me. I'll kill you before you even get the chance. You really think so? I knew so. Okay, you lost me. Start over from the beginning and explain it again, slowly this time. Alright, so, you remember that old fairy tale about a secret magic academy hidden somewhere in Europe? 
a school for witches and wizards? Yeah, it's a classic bedtime story. Been around for hundreds of years. Everybody heard that one as a kid. Well, in the 1980s, when Psycho Corp started making video games, they created a game series called Yonvania, which is based on that old fairy tale. It takes place in the Magic Academy. Yeah, I've heard of it. The tenth game in that series, Senpai of the Night, is the most famous one. That game was an absolute masterpiece. It's the undisputed game of the year for 1997. If it's such an old game, why is it so popular right now? The remake just came out! A retro classic remastered to meet the standards of modern gamers. It's a dream come true. I've sunk about 16 hours into it so far. It's basically flawless. Well, that explains that. But what's this conspiracy theory you keep going on about? In a recent interview, the writer for the original game was asked about the inspiration for the game story, and he gave an answer that differed from anything he ever said in the past. The writer said that the game story was given to him by someone who claimed to be a descendant of a witch that attended the Magic Academy several hundred years ago. He flat out stated that the story in Senpai of the Night is non-fiction. It's an actual historical account of something that really happened hundreds of years ago. Wait, what? That's not even the craziest part. After being available online for less than 24 hours, the interview was taken down and replaced with a version that didn't include the writer's statement. You can still read the original version of the interview with archiving tools, but the website is refusing to answer any inquiries about why the interview was edited and re-uploaded. A lot of people suspect that PsychoCorp is trying to cover something up, like they're trying to... to hide the fact that the Magic Academy was a real place that existed in the real world! Wait, you don't actually believe that, do you? From what you told me, it just sounds like the writer accidentally admitted to plagiarism and PsychoCorp is just trying to wipe it away. Well, I mean... I, that's... that's not really... Stop! Think! Magic does not exist! Witches do not exist! Fairy tales are not real! Psycho Corp is just trying to avoid paying royalties to the original author of the story. Case closed. Yeah, but... What, what, what if, like... Man, you're no fun at all, dude. Pitiful. Alright. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Get out of here. Come back anytime, dear. <laughs>